This week I was working on my level select screen. Let's -a go! How do you do? It's Mr. Moo. This is a devlog for my game Stolen Hearts. One thing that I've been avoiding for a long time is a level select screen. Um, before I worked on it this week, the level select screen looked a lot like this. This is in the competitive mode, but um, it looked pretty much identical to this, where it just had level select at the top. That my, my three levels, which there are levels that are, back, are backed up by these three buttons, but they're not. Uh, there's no information on them. There's no information on the page. The page looks bad. It's just all blue. Doesn't fit the vibe of the game. And so I was really avoiding the level select screen because I didn't really know what it should look like. I couldn't really visualize it. And I and the rest of the the rest of the menu screens kind of all looked the same with this blue background. Um, very generic buttons that just uh, get darker when you hover over and so now I was, I was trying to figure out what I can do for my level select screen and then I slowly started to picture it the first thing I did is I went to Photoshop and I put the background that I use for some of my levels um, in my game and and then I wanted to make a menu that surrounded this I already had what the elements needed to be which was the levels and so I just wanted to put those kind of this was all a mock this is not what I really want to look like but I just put these white boxes to represent how many levels I expected to be on the screen and where they would kind of be placed I knew I also wanted to give some information to the player such as uh, what is their best score for each level you know how you can have like a heart system or star system like one star two stars three stars and I thought about what would be best for my game and uh, I decided on these musical notes, uh, and then I also added the uh, what they would look like if they were filled in. Then I also wanted to add the best score in situations where uh, you know they had already completed the level. So I was just putting these these mocks down. In my game, I have several different characters that have different abilities, and each level is designed for particular characters. So I wanted to display if you were going to select a level, what character you'd be playing with. So for this case, the Good Knight um, is the name of my character. A, f a few other things, such as left and right to toggle between pages. So this page specifically would be for the Good Knight. And then I also thought about putting the Good Knight in this page so that they would, n that they would know what, um, what character that they, that they were playing with. And it would just kind of give a more interesting element to the UI so and add the character himself and maybe he'd do some animation there and so this is pretty much what the extent of what I had to do in Photoshop and just lay it out I got this idea to lay everything out in Photoshop before I actually put it in unity uh, from Thomas brush he has a really good uh, video on making uh, a menu and also I actually used his style for creating um, background images and, and, and landscape images for your for my game so I would definitely recommend that you check him out if you haven't already and you're making a game. So once I finished everything in Photoshop I started dragging everything into Unity and using that as my UI elements for my level select screen so you can immediately tell it's already looking a lot better um, and I was I was very happy with it right away and that kind of inspired me to keep going and and make it even better. So what I created, I created this info box, uh, kind of like what you saw in uh, in Photoshop, and you can tell it has these three different uh, music notes, and depending on how you do for each level, if you achieve the next music note, then that would be your score for the game. It also tells you your best score uh, if you do complete the level. And so this is a good way for the users to track which levels they completed and which ones they haven't completed and which ones they still need to get all three notes on to get a perfect to uh, you know to, to 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 reach that achievement so then I added this L2 and R2 buttons to tell you to go to the next page or the previous page for each character so this one is the good night but if you press R2 or L2 go to Bongo uh, my other character that I have and I'm gonna have a few more characters in that uh, but these are the ones that I'm primarily trying to create a demo out of first and so this is where my head's at and then I also have this back button at the top left that tells you if they press circle then you're gonna that you're gonna go back to the previous page 
So that, that pretty much is everything I need there. And so that, the next thing I did was work on the animations for my For the Good Night. And so this is what I'm kind of most proud of, and I spent a lot of time on this. Uh, and it kind of gives like an interesting little um, animation on the page as you're selecting which level to play. As you can see, the info box also tells you what your best score is, and those numbers are custom uh, images that I had to use. So I also had to write a script that if you give a certain score, it will also have to convert it into the sprite images. I also added these a little animation to the R2 and L2 buttons that gives it a little more life and it draws your attention to the fact that you can switch pages and go to another character. And so I also created another character page um, in which this is for Bongo and it's all of his levels and as you can see it has a different landscape the name changes and so these are all kind of things I had to work on um, writing scripts for uh, the changing uh, of these character pages as you can see I created I also created a brand new um, background and this was something that I used again Thomas Brush's method if you haven't checked him out I'll put the link in the description for creating the background from Thomas Brush and yeah I mean that was that was pretty much it that's pretty much what I worked on I mean it was a lot of time on the animations, tweaking and getting them right, um, and then uh, getting all the numbers right, and switching between pages, and then debugging, and, and all sorts of things. So you can also see that I also created this little locked image, uh, and that would pop up if you try to access a locked level in, on the info box. And uh, and yeah, I'm, so I'm so I'm pretty happy with this. I'm not done with this yet. I might move on from this for next week. Uh, but at, at some point I will have to come back to it a few things that I do want to add still is each of the level names maybe somewhere on the info box and also images of the levels on the little boxes themselves the selectable boxes so that will tell you what level that you're about to play um, but beyond that uh, I'm pretty happy with this I don't think that there's gonna be too much more tweaking um, I do have lots of other different types of game modes. This is just for the solo level select. So other game modes include co-op and competitive and these things I'm also going to have to create um, level select and different types of select menus. Uh, but but this, was a good, this is a good frame of reference for me for what the other um, menus will, will feel like. And so I'll be able to kind of replicate the same vibe here. And so this was this was really a, a, a helpful step for me to understand what the rest of my game is going to look like. All right, well that's it. This is my first uh, devlog for this game, and uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed.